As we go through our everyday life full of obligations and choices, we tend to take for granted a lot of things. We often don't appreciate enough our loved ones, or our careers, our homes, our freedom, even our possessions. But life has a funny way of reminding us what's important to us. More often than not, we know that after losing what we had. That is why it's always a good idea to be reminded about the importance of things before you end up losing them. Often an example of this is our own life. When we're feeling bad in life, we often tend to think thoughts like, I wish I were never born, or the world would be better if I weren't even born. But have you ever thought about what would really happen if you were never born? Currently, there are more than 7.5 billion people on this planet, and the number is rising every day. What's even more interesting is the fact that the ratio between the people that are born and the people that die is getting bigger. This year so far, there are around 105,200,000 births, whereas there are approximately 43,600,000 deaths recorded this year. If we take any day as an example, almost always there will be more than twice the people that were born than people that died. And that speaks a lot. The population of the world is constantly increasing, making the earth more and more crowded. The population growth in one day is around 200,000 people. And this year, the overall population growth so far is approximately 61,600,000 people. When talking about the future, the forecasts predict that the population will reach around 10 billion people by 2050. By 2100, the population is expected to reach a mind-blowing 11 billion. This information is actually very terrifying because of the rapid increase of the population on a planet that is a limited resource. When you think about the fact that the population reached its first billion in the year 1804, and just 126 years later the population doubled, it's pretty obvious how fast these changes happen. For reference, the year difference between the population reaching 5 billion and 6 billion was just 12 years. How long will this planet be able to sustain all these people is a very important question. While there are constantly new additions to the world, the people's lifespan is getting higher and higher as well, which additionally contributes to the overcrowding of the world. Different nationalities have different lifespans, and this is happening as a result of many factors such as health systems of the country, the diet-related practices that are traditional, the pollution of the air, the economic situation the country is in, and many more. For example, Japan is the country that has the highest life expectancy in the world with an average of 83.7 years for both sexes. Second is Switzerland with an average of 83.4 and immediately after that is Singapore with an average of 83.1. The country with the lowest average is Sierra Leone with an average of 50.1. So wherever you are in the world, it's very likely that you will live for more than half a decade. Does that time actually leave a footprint on the world? And how much would the world be different if you as an individual were not born at all? There are a few points of view when discussing the subject of an individual not being born at all and what differences will the Earth experience. We'll try to untangle the two important points of view for you. Let's start with the more philosophical or scientific part called the butterfly effect. The beginnings of the concept were introduced during the 139th meeting of the American Association for the Advancement of Science nearly 45 years ago. The man that is known to be the father of this concept is Edward Lorenz, who posed the following question during the meeting. Does the flap of a butterfly's wings in Brazil set off a tornado in Texas? Lorenz was a meteorology professor in the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and by asking the question, he wanted to present the idea that some complex dynamical systems can exhibit unpredictable behaviors as a result to small variances in the initial conditions that have profound effect on the system's outcomes. Or to put it in simpler words, metaphorically it means that a small change in one place can give rise to a big significant change in some other place. This effect is a part of chaos theory that is widely used in mathematics and states that certain systems are sensitive and unpredictable and that very small changes can make the whole system behave completely different. Since Lorenz was a meteorologist, he wanted to point out that small events such as the butterfly flapping its wings can start a chain of events that it can eventually lead to causing a tornado in Texas. This of course doesn't mean that the actual butterfly caused the tornado directly, 
but merely that by flapping its wings it caused different things to cause different things and the outcome ended with a tornado in Texas. Of course, this theory has many opposing views and critiques, but you can't deny that it makes a sound logic. If we apply this butterfly effect to the existence of one random person, can we metaphorically measure their significance to the world? Initially, all of us think if we weren't born, the world would probably continue as it was and it wouldn't make a big difference at all. That might be true as well, but what we're getting at right now can be true too. Maybe you being born started thousands of new chain events and some of them might end up causing something that might be very important to the world. Maybe if you didn't exist at all, it would ruin the world as we know it now, totally, indirectly. The second point of view that is connected to your individual existence is more statistical. Let's assume that you didn't exist. If you're giving up on average 70 years of life, you would statistically make a small difference in using or spending Earth's resources. If we take water, for example, as a resource that is used a lot by people, whether it's for drinking or showering, you not existing would save up to around 2,560,000 liters of water. Out of all these liters, around 60,000 accounts to the water that you consume in your lifetime. Washing and showering would account for about 25,000 out of those liters. This water is enough to fill up an Olympic pool and twice. In addition to being another thing that we must consume in order to survive, food is one of the greatest pleasures on earth. If you were not born, around 45 tons of food would not be wasted. To get a better perspective on how much that is, it's an equivalent to seven and a half elephants or 62 cows. That is surely a lot of food. Another thing that is crucial to our whole existence is oxygen. You wouldn't make 550 million breaths, which amounts to 220,752,000 liters of oxygen. Also, you would not produce 11,037,600 liters of carbon dioxide. To get a better perspective of how much that is, one hectare of forest would need 150 years to process that. While we're speaking about gases, you would not have released gas 400,000 times in your lifespan. If you weren't born, you would not have passed 177,000 kilometers in total on average, which makes up for four trips around the world, and you would not have been a part of 15,000 quarrels. You would not have spent two weeks of your life waiting in traffic for the green light. Eh, now that maybe can be counted as a perk of not existing. <laughs> the world would have 25,550 kilos less of garbage. To get an idea of how much that is, that amount of garbage would cover around three and a half football fields. Another type of garbage that you produce is excrement, and the world would be lighter for five tons of excrement. To clean that mess up, it would take 50 people around a whole day. Since we live in a society that is based on electricity, you already know that you use a lot of it in your life. If you didn't exist, you would have saved up to 41,657,342 watts of electricity. That kind of electricity would make a refrigerator work nonstop for around 180 years. Another thing that we produce a lot is heat. If you failed to be born, you would not produce heat enough to boil 33 liters of water. Our lifetime heat is enough to melt 280 tons of glaciers. This is proof that your sole existence contributes to the global warming as well. On the other end of the spectrum, if you weren't born, you would miss out on falling in love two and a half times on average in your lifetime. The world would not hear your laughter 290,000 times. You wouldn't have contributed to the continuing of the human race. All of the people in your life that ever met you would not have done that and you might have made a huge difference in someone's life. Or you might have even started the butterfly effect in other people's lives. It doesn't matter which perspective you'll choose to look at. At the end of the day, you're important to somebody. And since you're already born, you might as well make your time on Earth worth it. If you enjoyed this video, then why not subscribe? Hit that bell icon as well so you're more likely to get notified of our noble answers to your burning questions. Also, if you have any questions you want answered, make sure to tell me in the comments section down below. And to keep filling your brain with regal knowledge, check out these videos here. They're magnificent.